would use the federal government's uh, per diem rates um, to calculate the costs. And um, then for overtime, I calculated um, what it would cost um, projected of an overtime rate for my court clerks. Um, I also contacted um, a transportation company in Boise and one in the services Southeast Idaho for transportation costs of a jury to and from courthouses. So um, that's how I came up. And I also visited with the Ada County clerk on the costs of utilizing their corporate clerks. So that I'm clear, um, you looked at the the rates of the rate difference from the federal government IRS rates, the difference between Ada County and Fremont County. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Yes. You, you identified categories or types of costs and then researched each of those costs. Correct. Okay. And then you also looked at what the long-term functions of your office are and, and what the cost of those was. Correct? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes. Right. Let's turn to the uh, third page of the exhibit. What per diem rates did you identify and where did you get those rates? Um, I went to the um, IRS and its website and on the federal per diem rates. Um, and that's where I found those rates. Um, for Fremont County, um, the nightly rate for lodging is $96. And the meal per diem rate per day is $59. Um, in, the, uh, in Ada County, the lodging rate is $147 per night. And the food per diem rate is $74. Um, so that's how I came up with those rates. And then I used the reimbursement rate on mileage from there also, it, it is it currently at 58.5 cents per mile. Um, and that is, those are subject to change with the economy. So I felt like they were the most accurate that I could use at this time. Okay. Um, and I notice on state's exhibit four under the per diem rate for mileage for Fremont County, there's a not applicable. If the case were tried in Fremont County, would you be responsible for paying mileage to any of your personnel? I would not. But if it was transferred to Boise, you would? Yes. Okay. Um, did you sit down and calculate the distance from Fremont County to Boise, Idaho round trip? Yes, I did. Um, I used uh, Google Maps and calculated that from uh, Fremont County to Ada County is 740 miles round trip. And so that's the number I used in calculating the mileage per diem. Now, um, did you identify, turning to the next page in the exhibit, did you identify specific types of additional costs were the case to be moved to Ada County? Yes. Um, like I said before, I visited with the Ada County clerk and visited with them on if we utilized Ada County clerks for the uh, to service the trial, um, what those costs would be. And he indicated that um, it would be approximately $25 an hour. Okay, um, um, let me ask you, what categories of costs did you identify? Um, I identified personnel, um, mileage, lodging, um, food, the meals, overtime, and um, added jury costs. And then I also calculated the costs for travel in those same categories for public defense, um, assuming that there would be two public defenders assigned to this case. And why would you calculate the cost for the public defense? Why would that be part of your job? That's because the county is responsible for the costs for paying for public defense. Uh, turning to the next page in the exhibit, is the county also, to your knowledge, responsible for paying the cost for the prosecutors? Yes, they are. Do you, do you have any role in that, in determining the cost to the prosecutors? No, I do not. That is submitted by the prosecution to the commissioners, and they review those costs. Okay. 
And are you aware of whether or not um, if the elected prosecutor, Lindsey Blake, and the deputy prosecutor, Tanya Rowlings, were in Boise, are they going to need a prosecutor here to keep the continuity of um, function moving forward? Yes, they would. Um, because um, we will still continue to have, hold court for um, other proceedings that are happening in our county. And so therefore we would need additional help from them. And it would also put a short staff if we use Fremont County court clerks um, over there that we would need to look at possibly uh, additional help there. Um, turning to the next page on court personnel, uh, clerk personnel. Um, now, in terms of whether, who decides what clerks are going to cover the Daybell trial in Ada County? It's my assumption that the judge will make that determination. Okay. And so did you work with the Ada County clerk to help determine costs to aid the judge in making that decision? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, what are the anticipated costs if the court uses Ada County court clerks? If the court uses Ada County court clerks, I estimated that um, we would use two clerks and that for a 10 week trial, it would cost approximately $20,000 for their court services. I didn't know if there would be any overtime included, so I did not calculate any of that. Um, and I, I know there's a summary chart where you show your math at the end, but just briefly, how did you get to 20,000? Um, I times the $25 an hour um, times five days a week at eight hour days to come up with a $20,000. And what length of, of trial Sorry, did could you, you use? Could you repeat that again, Ms. Mace, that calculation? So I, I took the rate that he um, gave me of $25 a rate, $25 an hour per clerk. Um, and I times that out by um, a daily rate. And then I times it out by a 10 week trial. And I was calculating eight hour work days on that. Okay, thank you. Now, if um, the court needs the clerks um, who have handled the case in Fremont to go and try to handle the trial in Ada, um, can you walk us through your math on that? Yes. So um, because they will be being paid their regular rate, I did not put their regular work rate in there. Um, but I did calculate that um, if they were able to come home on weekends, um, it's about a five hour drive from Boise to St. Anthony. And so I calculated that there would be uh, 20 hours per week of overtime for two clerks to be traveling over there. And so that's how I came up with the overtime rate. Uh, mileage, again, I used the um, Google Maps to come up with the, the miles from Fremont County to Ada County. And um, round trip, that's 740 miles. And um, lodging rate, I figured five days a week of lodging at the per diem rate. And meals, five days per week at the uh, per diem rate for the meals. And um, should the court choose to use the clerks who have been handling the case from Fremont County over in Ada, what is your projected budgetary cost? I project that if we used um, Excuse me, was that Fremont rates or, or Fremont clerks or Ada? Fremont clerks. Yeah. Fremont clerks would be $45,266 approximately. Now turning to the next category of cost for public defense, um, and you've indicated that the court covers the cost for um, public defense, and it's your understanding that there are two public defenders assigned to Ms. Vallow Daybell's case, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, and did you identify added costs? Were those attorneys um, required to try the case in Ada County? Yes, I did. Okay. And these would be costs that would not um, exist if the case were to be tried in Fremont County? Correct. Um, what were the, if you could walk us through your math and um, your logic for the cost, added cost for the public defenders to try the case in Ada County? 
So again, I did mileage rate from uh, Fremont County to Ada County um, being 740 miles per week for two attorneys um, would be $8,658. Um, the lodging would be at $147 per day for five days a week would be $14,700. For meals um, five days a week at $74 a day would be uh, $7,400. And then I also um, visited with the Ada County clerk about if they had room for um, the office space for the public defenders and they indicated that they do not. And so um, I calculated that office space rental would be approximately $750 a month. And I did that for three months because I didn't know if we could get it on a partial month or not, and so that would be $22,500 for a total of $53,258 of additional costs for public defense that the county would bear. And, it, and it, forgive me, on the office space, I thought I heard you say $750 a month. I may have misheard it. Um, how much do you anticipate the office space would be? Excuse me, it would be $7,500 per month. And um, where did you come up with that number? Um, the um, prosecutor's office had done some research and had calculated that that was the rate that they found available in, in Ada County. And so I used that rate. I did not research that myself. Can I kind of object at this point? I've tried to be somewhat tolerant. I've let a couple of objections in regards to hearsay go through. I understand that she's putting foundation, but she's still deriving numbers from another source and using those numbers and frankly judge although I, I feel I've been somewhat patient I'm, I'm going to object at this point to the admission of that information okay as it relates to the office space calculation I'll agree at this point with the objection that there's an inadequate foundation for me to consider that unless you want to see if there's any additional foundation it was just essentially saying an unknown source so I won't consider that unless you have some further Foundation, you can lay Ms. Smith. Um, Ma'am, you just budgeted the same amount that the prosecutors were estimating? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to object again. Still foundation. It's sustained. Okay. Um, turning to the next place, did you take a page? Did you um, make an effort to um, do budget projections for the cost of a jury sequestration? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, and what length of time did you um, um, look at um, for a jury to be sequestered? For eight weeks. Um, is that because you didn't include the amount of time to pick a jury? Correct. Okay. Um, if you can, um, where did you get the numbers uh, to calculate your budget projection for the cost of jury sequestration in Ada County? So um, I made the assumption that because um, of the, uh, the length of the trial that the judge may want to use more than the standard number of jurors. So I picked um, 18 jurors and then I, like I said, I calculated uh, transportation costs. Uh, I went online and uh, found that um, the transportation costs um, for um, busing in Ada County, um, we would need um, two out, about four hours a day, and it was $145 uh, per hour that they charged. Um, so I calculated that out um, five days a week um, at four hours a day to be $31,600. Um, I'm sorry, for Ada County? Excuse me. No, excuse me. $145 a day would be 29000 Excuse me. I was looking at the wrong numbers. Um, at 45, um, $145 an hour, four, four hours per day approximately would be 29000 The lodging rate for um, the jurors in Ada County um, at 147 $147 per day would be $185,220. And the meals 
at $74 a day would be $93,240 for a total of $307,460. And that's, that's the, your projected cost were the jury to be sequestered in Ada County? Correct. Okay, and did you research the same issue for a jury to be sequestered in Fremont County? Yes, I did. So I contacted our local um, uh, bus rental service um, and they would not do an hourly rate. They would only do a daily rate of $790 per day. So the cost would be $31,600 uh, for transportation for the jurors. Um, the lodging rate in Fremont County is $96 per day for a total of $96,768. And meals, um, the per diem rate is $59 a day for a total of $59,472 for a total cost of approximately $187,000. $840. And that's for a jury sequestered in Fremont County? Correct. And the last page of Exhibit 4, is that um, the chart you use to do your and reflect your math? Yes. Okay. Um, if you can, um, just briefly walk us through each of the categories, and I notice it's color-coded, so if you could just explain to the court, you know, the, the color coding, um, or just put it on the record, please. Yes, so um, the, the top in yellow is the cost of using Fremont County clerks to go over and clerk the, the court case. Um, so the total cost, if we were to hold the trial in Ada County um, and um, use Fremont County clerks would be $379,355. Uh, in orange, um, if we were to hold the, the trial in Ada County and use Ada County clerks, I estimated the cost to be $354,089. And then in green, if we were to hold the trial in Fremont County and sequester the jury there, I estimated the cost to be $187,840. And this, none of this includes um, witnesses for the, the uh, defense because I had no way of determining what those would be at this point. So it, I'm sorry, I, I want to make sure I could hear you. It does or does not include witnesses for the defense? It does not. Okay. Um, what, and when you say witnesses for the defense, you mean the public defense? Correct. Okay. And, what, and will the um, court um, that you're responsible for and their budget be responsible for paying witness fees, transportation costs, lodging for def the witnesses um, endorsed or subpoenaed by the public defenders? Yes, we will. Okay. And you don't have any calculation for that? I do not. All right. Now, turning towards sort of the long-term staffing um, uh, and responsibilities of your um, team, are the court clerks from Fremont responsible for the long-term record on appeal in this case? Yes, they would be. Um, and so gonna, it would be Judge, gonna, my preference. Hold on, Ms. Mace. There's a pending objection. Go ahead, Mr. Pryor. Uh, she's gonna um, excuse me. I, I cannot hear Mr. Pryor. All right. Well, he made an objection, so if you'll just wait for a minute, we need to rule on the objection. Mr. Pryor, what's your objection? Judge, at this point, the, the state is making the presumption that there's going to be an appeal. Are we going to spread this thing out to that extent, that we're going to start considering those things? I, I think that's a little speculative, and at this point, I don't think it's appropriate for this proceeding. Well, issues related to appeal, I think that's certainly beyond the scope of what the court's willing to consider on this, so I'll uh, sustain the objection as irrelevant. Um, Ma'am, what are the functions of the court clerks in, um, in terms of record keeping? Um, my court clerks are to um, take all of the information that is presented and file it in, within the case and keep it in an organized and uh, manner and also to um, do the minute entries of all of the um, court proceedings so that we have a complete record uh, of the case. 
And so understanding that, has your um, team had experience with cases that were had a change of venue from Fremont to other counties? Judge, I don't understand the relevance of all of this. Again, we've talked about costs. Are we going to start going this? Uh, I'll, I'll allow this to continue if you'll uh, draw it into the issue at hand, though, Ms. Smith, please. Thank you. Did you, did you hear the question? Yes, I did. And yes, we have had uh, experience with a change of venue um, on trials in our county. And, and what is your experience um, with regards to the record keeping in the, the level of work needed for your team when cases have been a change of venue? Um, it has been very difficult to combine the, the work done in one county versus another county and make sure that the court case is stayed consistent and thorough. Um, having some records in one county and exhibits and some in another county, it makes it difficult to maintain a clear record of the case. And, um, as uh, your team and the court clerks in Fremont have managed this case for a length of time, correct? Yes, we have. And do you have an opinion to offer the court on whether or not they should stay with the case um, were it to be tried in Ada County? I can object at this point, uh, allowing this witness to offer her opinion as to where she would prefer. She's the clerk. Or the that wasn't the question, Your Honor. Yeah, it's overruled, Mr. Pryor. You can continue, Ms. Smith. Thank you. Did you understand the question, ma'am? Yes, uh, it's my understanding that you're asking me um, if I feel um, it would be best to have the same clerks handling the court case. And in my estimation and my court clerks, we feel that um, that would be the best is to have the same clerk handle the case throughout. Regardless of where it's tried. Correct. Briefly, Your Honor. Yes. All right, Ms. Smith, do you have any further questions for the witness on direct? No, Your Honor. Very well. Prior, uh, cross-examine if you'd like. I'd ask you to speak directly into that microphone and make sure and confirm that the witness can hear you okay and go ahead and commence your cross. Good morning, Ms. Mace. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. If you have at any point difficulty hearing me, would you please? Uh, I'm struggling me? right now. Okay. Uh, I would like you to turn to the last page of your exhibit, if you would, for me, please. And let me know when you're there. I'm struggling still to hear Mr. Pryor. Would you turn to the last page of your um, exhibit and let me know when you're there? I'm there. Okay. Uh, I'm looking at two numbers at the bottom of the page. One is 354.89 and the other number is 187.840. Uh, and you represented that that's the top number, the 354, is the cost of Ada County, correct? That is the cost if we use Ada County clerks. Okay, and the cost of 187 is if uh, you use your own clerks, correct? And the court, w uh, the trial was handled in Fremont County. Okay. Okay. So, do I understand it correctly that if we were to pay for the, the county clerks from Fremont County to travel to Ada County to have a trial, the cost would be approximately 45,000 plus 266? Is that correct? The total cost that I projected is the 379355 Okay. Okay. What I'm asking you, however, is that on the very top of the fourth page, you have projected costs of 45266 Do you see that on the fourth page in yellow? Yes. What is that? That is the... That is the cost for 
uh, my court clerks to travel to Ada County to clerk the, the trial. Okay. And that's for the cost for the clerks to clerk, clerk the trial. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And then we compare that to the orange, which is 20000 correct? Correct. So if we were to uh, break this down, and I'll, I'll do this throughout my cross-examination, please be patient with me. Uh, my understanding is that if we were to just use the Ada County clerks, it would cost $20,000, correct? Correct. But if we were to just pay for the mileage for the clerks to travel to and from Fremont County for you to use your own clerks, it would cost 45,000 plus, is that correct? That's mileage plus lodging and, and meals okay. and over time. So it would cost an additional $25,000 to use the, the clerks for uh, Fremont County as opposed to using the clerks uh, in Ada County, is that correct? That's correct. So there would be a savings of $25,000 by just using Ada County clerks. Is that a fair assessment, ma'am? If you're looking just at the numbers, yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, I noticed you made a notation about the Capital Crimes Defense Fund. And part of your calculations were lodging and other items in Ada County, if the trial were to be conducted in Ada County, includes costs of the public defender, correct? Yes, it does. Right. And in the capital funds defense, uh, in the capital funds uh, uh, that are available, isn't it true, ma'am, that you can submit costs to the capital crimes defense fund and cover two public defenders, and all of the costs associated with those would be paid out of the capital crimes defense fund? Isn't that correct? That is not correct. It's my understanding that the capital crimes defense fund will pay for one attorney and the county would be responsible for all the expenses of the other attorney. Okay. okay. And um, your costs of the lodging in Ada County of $185,220, would you be a little more detailed into, does that include, does that include the, the uh, sequestering the jury in Ada County? Yes, it does. Okay. Are you aware that this judge hasn't made a decision as to whether or not to sequester the jury in Ada County? That's correct. I have not. I, he has not. Um, my, I just wanted to have apples to apples, so I use sequestering in both locations. Okay. So why don't you tell me then, what's the cost if we don't sequester the jury in Ada County? What items are removed from your calculation? Uh, the lodging and transportation would be removed. So on the Ada County costs, if we were to just use, and the meals, would they not? Uh, depending on what the courts determine, um, a lot of times in a trial, we will provide um, the food for the defend, or for the jury so that they do not have to leave the courthouse. So I put it in there because I determined that that would be, um, there would also be um, mileage that the jurors would receive um, from their homes to the Ada County Courthouse that um, they would um, be reimbursed at that same federal rate um, is what Fremont County uses. Okay. Explain to me why uh, the meals in Ada County are 93000 for these folks and the meals in Fremont County are only 59000 I'm having some difficulty. Um, again, I was not sure how to do these calculations, so I felt the only fair way to do, to use, was to use the per diem rate that is established by the federal government for those two locations. Okay. So, uh, let me ask you this, and, and, and as I ask each of these items, go through each of these items, if you would just respond, I would appreciate it. Uh, if we were to just use the Ada County clerks as opposed to using the Fremont County clerks, we would save to almost $25,000, is that correct? That is correct. Okay, if we decide not to sequester the jury in Ada County, we then would not have $185,000 for lodging, or the vast majority of the $185,000 for lodging, is that correct? That is correct. 
If we were to not sequester the jury in Ada County, we would not have $93,000 in meals. Is that correct? That would be determined by the judge, not me. Okay. In other words, whether or not they want to feed them lunch or whether they want to give them breakfast before they show up or whether they want to give them dinner after they've been, after they've been listening to jury testimony or listening to testimony all day. Is that correct? That's correct. So if I were to bring a witness forward to say that it's, it's traditional uh, for them to just provide a lunchtime meal, would you, uh, would you view that as incorrect information or would you say that's entirely up to the judge what he decides to do? That would be up to the judge. Okay. So potentially we could save 90 some thousand dollars in meals by just not sequestering the jury in Ada County. Is that correct? That would be up to the judge. But it would be correct if he decided not to sequester them, correct? Again, that would be up to the judge on the meals. And then the transportation as well, correct? Correct. So if we're looking at these numbers, um, the cost of bringing a jury over versus sequestration and not sequestering the jury is significant, isn't it? Yes. In other words, if, if, we're if we're truly trying to look at what's in the best interest for Fremont County and being good stewards, very good stewards of our financial um, condition, you'd have to agree with me that if we're just looking at saving money, the fact of the matter is, is that if we don't sequester the jury in Ada County, we are saving the citizens of Fremont County a significant amount of money by just not sequestering the jury in Ada County. Isn't that correct? I'm struggling to hear Mr. Pryor. He keeps coming in and out. Okay. Isn't it correct that it would be a significant savings for us to not sequester the jury in Ada County and have the trial in Ada County rather than sequestering them? Again, that would be a choice of the judge. Well, All I did was, was, was put the numbers together as if they were sequestered. Okay, all right. But you'd agree with me that those numbers would be significantly lower if we didn't have to sequester a jury in Ada County. Isn't that correct? Yes. Nothing else, Judge. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Any redirect, Ms. Smith? Um, briefly, Your Honor. Um, Ma'am, you're aware that this is a capital murder case, correct? Yes, I am. Judge, I'm going to object. This is going beyond the scope. May I finish, Your Honor? Overruled. Go ahead. And you are aware that by statute um, that a jury must be sequestered from after the case is submitted to them through and to any um, sentencing hearing, correct? Correct. And so therefore, the jury will have to be sequestered at some point. It's just a question of how long, correct? Correct. And so since they will have to be sequestered at some point, you went for the entire length of the trial so the judge had those numbers. Yes, I did. Right. Because we don't know how long they will be deliberating, so it would be difficult to calculate that number. Correct. Now, um, if there was the, the trial itself where um, the jury was picked in Ada County and then transported back to Fremont County, would any of the costs for um, use of the clerks be incurred? 